can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given this triangle with a side length of h and 40 without hypotenuse, draw a circle inside of this triangle with the radius equals 4 units. Then the question is, what is the measure of this side length, h? Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so I will show you two solutions to this kind of question. So let's have our first solution. Alright, so what we're going to do is to move this radius right about here. So we know if we draw a radius to a tangent line, this tangent line and the radius is perpendicular to each other. So we will do that again. For the last time, let's draw the radius of the circle directly to the tangent line or the hypotenuse of this right triangle. Next, notice that we created a square right about here. So all of this side must be equal to 4 units. And then we know also that the length of this side must be equal to h and we know this is 4 so the other side must be equal to h minus 4. So h minus 4 plus 4, we have a total of h again. Next, take note that these two segments right here, a property of a tangent line, must be the same. So if this length is h minus 4, the other side or the other segment must be also h minus 4. This is not hard to prove. So to prove this, the quickest way is to draw a segment like this and we have two congruent triangles. Alright? So we have this one, a right triangle. So using HL postulate, we can say that these two right triangles are congruent. So if this side is H minus 4, the other side must be also H minus 4. Alright, so let's continue. We know also this side length is 4, so the whole segment must be equal to 40. So 40 minus 4, the, uh, this segment right here must be equal to 36. And since it is 36, the other segment is also 36 units. Now, if you combine this, h minus 4 plus 36, this will give us h plus 32. So this is now the length of the hypotenuse of this right triangle. Now, let's go back to our figure. Alright, so we know this is h, this is 40, now we have the hypotenuse which is h plus 30. Now since it is a right triangle, we can now use the Pythagorean theorem. So let's do that. So we have h plus 32 quantity squared equals h squared plus 40 squared. Now let's simplify. h plus 32 quantity squared, this will give us a value of h squared plus 64 h plus 1024. Next. 40 squared, this will give us 1,600. Next, let's subtract h squared on both sides. So if we do that, h squared and h squared cancel out. So this will leave us with 64h plus 1,024 equals 1,600. Now subtract 1,024 on both sides. This will result to 64h equals 576. Now to solve for the value of h, let's divide both sides by 64. And 576 over 64, this will give us a value of 9. So our first solution using Pythagorean theorem, we get that the value of h must be equal to 9. Now, this is our first method using the Pythagorean theorem. Now let's begin with our second solution. So let's start. So to answer this question is what we're going to do is to use the area of this figure. Before we do that, take note that all of the segments are the radius of the circle, meaning all of these measures is 4 units. Now from the center of the circle, what we're going to do is to connect all the vertices of this triangle like this. Now we created 
three more triangles. We have this one, this one, and the last one. So now, we will use the concept of the area of this triangle. Now, the total area of this triangle must be equal to the area of the first triangle. And let's call this the first triangle. Plus the area of the second triangle. And let's call this triangle the second triangle. Plus the area of the third triangle. And let's call this the bottom triangle as the third triangle. So let's apply this. So we know that the area of the triangle must be equal to 1 half times base times height. Now the question is, what is the total area of this triangle or the area of the big triangle? So this is equal to 1 half times base, which is 40, times height equals h. So we have 40h over 2. Now what is the area of our first triangle? And again, we have this triangle, we have first triangle. So the base is h, the height is 4, and the area of this triangle must be equal to 4h over 2, or 1 half base times height. Next, the area of the second triangle, the base is h plus 32, and the height is 4. So the area must be equal to 4 times h plus 32 divided by 2. For the last one, the area of the third triangle, the base is 40, and the height is 4 units. So the area must be equal to 1 half times 4 times 40. Now, using this equation, we can now solve for the value of h. So, let's do that. First, let's multiply all of this term by 2. So, to cancel out 2 on the denominator. If we do that, we get 40h equals 4h plus 4 times the quantity h plus 32 plus 4 times 40. Now, let's simplify first. Let's distribute 4 to h plus 32. This will give us 4h plus 128. Next, 4 times 40, this will give us 160. Now, let's combine like terms. 4h plus 4h, this will give us 8h. And then 128 plus 160, this will give us 288. Next, subtract 8h on both sides. So this will give us 32h equals 288. Divide both sides by 32 to get the value of h, 288 divided by 32, and of course, this will give us a value of 9. This is what we get a while ago. Therefore, our answer to this question, what is the value of h given this scenario or the, given this information, and our answer must be equal to h equals 9 units. And as always, we are done.